On this episode, we'll compare a DIY passive loop to a Terminator folded dipole antenna. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos, and give the video a like. If you go to SWLing.com, he has a great write-up on how to make a DIY passive loop antenna using coax and making your own ballin'. I followed his design to make my own antenna. My terminator folded dipole is about 50 foot long and it's installed in my attic. I installed the DIY passive loop in the attic as well. For this test, both antennas will be connected one at a time to an RTL SDR dongle using SDR Uno. So we'll start with the terminator folded dipole in the 6 MHz. And it is also both you can see the noise floor is high. I have some interference issues with the antenna. The United States government will play a significant role in trying to destabilize Cuba. Now we'll look at the DIY passive loop antenna at the same 6 MHz. They with Now we'll tune to 5.910 with the DIY passive loop. Using the T2FD. Now we use the T2FD on 9.395 megahertz. CHED from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada was received on 16 years on November 21st from 0757 to 0806 UTC in English. SIO rating was 2 to... In the same frequency. And we could not even receive the station with the DIY passive loop antenna. Texas A&M. Now we'll use the DIY passive loop Who antenna in the medium wave play. band. A chain, the freshman from Missouri City, Texas, is the running back. He gained about six or seven on the run to bring up this third and short for the Aggies. On the tackle, by the way, for Carolina, Eugenia Song. And the T2FD in the medium wave band. 741, that's where the clock has stopped here. And I tell you, this offensive line for A&M is legit now. They have three second-team all-conference members. Dan Moore at left tackle. We'll try another medium wave frequency with the T2FD. Is that what he got kicked out of that? That's a weird thing to get kicked out of that, isn't it? I mean, he clearly did that on purpose. I can't, I mean, he, he does this once a year. He did it in Arkansas last year and it worked. He did it in South Carolina a couple years back. And with the DIY passive loop antenna, we could not even receive the station. Now let's try 21 megahertz with the T2FD. Now with the passive loop antenna. Even with the noise issues I'm having with the T2FD, I prefer it over the DIY passive loop. I did try rotating the loop antenna, but did not notice a difference in signal strength. So for me, a cheap hands-off passive antenna, I'll stick to the T2FD. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos, and please give the video a like. Thank you.